Now, though, today marks 20 years since Arsenal were crowned the unbeatables. Invincible. the date, May the 15th, 2004, Arsenal have gone through an entire league campaign without losing. Your camp's uh, vision and like ballet watching him perform, Perez on the left. Here's Perez with the free kick, brilliant, absolutely majestic, top left hand corner from Robert Perez. The season I think where we went in beating, I think that was a special moment. The Invincibles are the pinnacle for Arsenal Football Club. I think they were invincible, that they were the only ones, uh, the way they did it, it was uh, in their own way. I discovered what it is to be a manager without any fear. I just travelled to the games, no fear at all to lose, and when this fear disappears, they just want you to become better as a unit. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four is the number to call if you want to have your say on which of the current Arsenal crop of players will get into that invincible side from twenty years ago is one of the questions we're asking. DB, twenty years ago has gone quick, hasn't it, or has R- it? Rapido, it has. Yeah, rapido. It's funny when you get to to a scenario like that where you support your club, you do think it goes on forever, mm. and then all of a sudden you look at where you are now. Like if you just said to me that Arsenal wouldn't have won one more league title since then, I'd have gone, you absolutely bonkers. Especially with the team we had then. Yeah. What what happened the following year? Can you remember? I'm putting you on the spot a bit now here. Um, but did, did you have a lot of players leave? Yeah, I mean, a fair few left, but I mean, you put me on the spot there. I can't quite remember the okay, squad. So I've, I've got uh, Lehman, Lauren, Cole, Pro this, is the, Torre, this is the this Invincibles. Is the Invincibles. Yeah. Campbell, Perez, Gilberto, Silva, Vieira, Freddy. Lundberg, Omri and Bergkamp. Mm. <laughs> who, who did... It is. Who, who for your money... Is the I know you're going to say Omri. Let's take him out of the equation. Who made that team what it was? I mean, do you know what? It's difficult to. I mean, Thierry was the for me the the, the greatest. Yeah. Obviously, Dennis Burkamp is. There's one and two. If you're asking me who Arsenal's greatest ever players are, there's no, one. I'm, there, I'm not asking. That. No, I'm just saying there's one and two. Omri and Burkamp. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, one and two. Really? Yes. Come on. You're not putting right in there. You're not putting. Uh, yeah, right is in the right is in the. If I was top five, of course, right is in there. You're not putting in there. Top five, but they're one and two they're in my two. opinion. Very rare that you get the, your club's great. You're, in the are same you team. saying your club's greatest ever players one and two are those two? Well, yeah, I think I'm so. asking you. I don't I, know. I think so. Okay. And there are some Arsenal players that say Burkamp's ahead of Thierry. Okay. That might Kieran being one of those, but I mean, Sol Campbell was brilliant. Him and him and. Uh, Colo Torres' partnership. Mm. Perez, who's one of my favourite players, by the way. Yeah, I think he goes a little bit, not unnoticed, but he was an unbelievable winner. He's one of my favourite people, by the way. Perez. Have you met him? Oh, I played with him at Aston Villa. I walked into the dressing told, room. You've told me this. Yeah. Starstruck when I saw him. But then we've kept That's in contact. So kept in contact. Whenever I see him. What yeah. about for our show? Yeah. Listen, I can message him and ask him. But He's unbelievable, isn't he? But yes, yeah, He knows Robert Perez. Yeah. Ask him, where's Maxi? Maxi was like, how you know him? Why are you not getting him on our show? Because I don't Where does like, he live? I see. I don't know where he lives, but he's always all over the world doing playing in these like world football tournaments. Will you text? Will you text him today? Yeah. Hi, mate. We're talking about your wonderful invisible side. Yeah. I don't Fancy coming on? I'll ask him. Fancy coming on? Even on the phone now. Listen, the nicest guy ever, Perez. By the way, nicest guy. Okay. But there was. I mean, there's so many. I mean, someone. I mean, yeah, he was part of the invincible squad. Um, that kind of. I won't say went under the radar, but even someone like an Edu, was yeah. was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So. Okay, what what players from this current group of Arsenal players get into that eleven? Um, Let's go through them. You, you've got. I mean, you mentioned your centre halves. You've got is, two is talking, wonderful centre halves. Are, are now. you talking about what what players from the Invincibles get into this current squad? Uh, now? It, no, the other way around. So if I was doing a combined, because the Invincibles, no, not combined. The Invincibles, the team. Yeah. So what players in your current group of players would get into that Invincible team? I mean, it's a difficult one. Um, Let's go through it. Your goalkeeper's no, going to stay. I'm, I'm taking Jens Lehmann. Yeah, okay. Uh, right back, I'm keeping Laron. I mean, Ben White is incredible. Been brilliant, but Laron is... Okay. You don't need to talk about left back. Okay, well, that's obvious. Mm. Definitely taking, Zinch- fact, take, taking Zinchenko. It doesn't matter who you've got at left back at the moment. Yeah, it's Ashley Cole. It's always going to be Ashley Cole. I think I'm going to go Sol Campbell and Saliba. Yeah, now, I, I'd agree Torre with that. Now, Torre was brilliant. By the way, their partnership, and it was hard to play against, by the way, because I remember playing against them, trying to run in behind, and both of them, mm. like, two whippets. So, but I'd go probably Saliba's Saliba's fantastic. Yeah. This is an interesting one because it's Vieira and one other, right? So, well, you've got Declan Rice, yeah, but you've also got you've also got uh, Gilberto uh, Silva, won the World Cup, Brazil, yeah. brilliant. I'm probably gonna go. 
Oh, I see. Do I go Declan after one year with what Gilberto did? Probably not. So I'm probably going to go... Gilberto Silva. Yeah, Gilberto Silva and Vieira. Okay. Odegaard? Oh, was a 10. What formation are we playing here? Because remember, I also played 4-2 four, four here. And where does Lundberg play? On the right. I'd probably play Saka ahead of, of Lundberg. Okay. I can see that. The other side, Perez. Don't matter who you play for there, it's Perez. Yeah. And then Thierry on his up, up, up top and Berg. Yeah, you haven't really got a number nine anyway, have you? No, so it's Odegaard, you dropping Kai Havertz? <laughs> Odegaard, if you're playing a 4 3 3, Odegaard gets in because Odegaard's been brilliant. Mm. But it's, I mean, what these guys did was unique. Going a whole season unbeaten. Yeah, I poo poo it. But it's it, come on. And I do it for comedy value. And yeah. I don't do it, for, I do it to annoy you. Right? And do you know what? It works. It does work. Mm. But yeah, I mean, credit where credit's due, right? So, yeah. I mean, to go a whole season in the Premier League unbeaten is incredible we were talking about earlier on with Kevin Atchard and Bayer Leverkusen over in Germany um, the fact that they're doing it in three competitions but you know, bearing you, in mind how hard that Premier League is do you know who came in as well God rest his soul and he is one of my favourite Arsenal players ever Reyes mm. oh, he came in he scored some big goals by the way I remember one FA Cup was he game. underrated yeah I think, he scored, was, I think an FA Cup game Chelsea at Highbury scored two one of them poof, rocket yeah. bang yeah good player <laughs> honestly I love Reyes man loved him um, when you look at this current group of Arsenal players, right? Mm-hmm. So listen, fans can phone up and, and have their say. I would imagine the majority of them are going to agree with you about what players in this group would get into that group. But either way, you can argue. I don't mind. Oh, three, seven, one, seven, double, two, double, three, double, four. I bet no, they can argue, not mm-hmm. me. Um, I also want Arsenal fans to, to talk to me about this current group of Arsenal players. Mm. Okay. Now you, you and I, and the rest of the team, including Del the back, were in a meeting earlier and I pushed him a little bit having a bit of fun but part of me meant it mm, they, 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 uh, find it funny. Uh, okay so I was asking whether or not there's been progression there has been progression okay last year. now you, you will argue the fact that we've pushed Man City further than they've no, been no I've, I've got a few stats that back that idea up okay so last season I've got a question for you but go on no you go first then okay so you're going to say it does and you're going to prove it yeah. in a minute so two seconds on the bounce last year this yeah. year yeah how many more a serious question mm. How many more second place finishes do you have, Arsenal, until it doesn't become progression? I, I, I won't know that until. But if you finish next season second yeah, but how on goal difference, second, then it's still again. How many points did we get? Ninety. You both got ninety. Well, it's progression because we can only get eighty nine this okay, year. Okay, so so it's it's not to do with whether or not you win trophies. It's all point based. No, at some point you want your club to start winning trophies. They have to win something. When you invest that much money into it, of course we, we're not. Silly. When is that point for Arteta? Well, what then, year did he get there? 2019? Yeah, I mean, he, he's had... There, there's been progression from where he first started to where yeah. he is now. And even if you look at last season, right? Arsenal got 84 points last season, right? They've already I got... Don't, I don't agree with what you're no, saying. No, but listen... Because yeah. well, if, no, if you win the league with... Okay, if you win the league this no, year with 79... Yeah. You can't say you've gone backwards because you've got less points. Well, well yeah, performance-wise has, but the rest of the league's been poor. If we win the league with 79 points. No, no. So anyway... It, it doesn't wash Arsenal, me, this. Well, Arsenal 84 was fact. Well, it's eight, not fact. Well, it's fact. Okay, what's what's it's more not. what's more impressive? Silverware. No, answer the question. Eighty-six points or eighty-four? Well, you both finished. Well, no, well, okay, no, what's your no, league no, finish? No, answer the question. But it's all about but your league if finish. You get, if, I get, if you get more points than you got last season, but I need to know your league finish to no, make that call. No, answer the question. I'll tell you why it falls down. No, 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 no because you're answering my question. No, 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 I'm going to continue okay, my I'll, I'll answer it. Hold on, before you do, a serious point I'm no. going to make. A serious point because you're basing it on the amount of points you get, right? So let's just say, how many did you get last season? 84. Okay, you finished second. Yeah. And this year you're going to get at least 86. 89. Right, 89. Okay. Right? What happens if one year you finish, next year you finish third yeah. with 90? Because then the, the league's been unbelievable. It's yeah, but, but, but what do you class that as? Because at the moment you're classing we're still it just getting, on we're, we're still getting more and more so, points. So third next year on more points is progression or not? That's I say, yeah, because there's more points. If the teams above you get it's 94, not, 95. Not, but anyway, Arsenal, 84 points last not. season, 86 this season with one game to go. They finished five points behind City last season. They've taken City to the final game this year. So they've made it a bit more interesting. And you're doing cup competitions. Three wins in the last nine games in the running. And last actually, year? Last year. That was last year. Mm. Three wins in the last nine games. They've taken it in 2024, 16 wins, one draw, and one loss in 2024. I mean, that you what can't. About, what about cups and silverware? Right, can I finish what I'm saying? FA Cup, third round, fourth round? Right. Also, goals conceded last season, 43. They've conceded 28. Goals scored last season, 88. They scored 89. They've got the best defensive team in the Premier League, not just the Premier League, mm. in Europe. Mm. Qualify for the Champions League, first time in 14 years. Mm. All these things are better yeah, than they I, were last year. Yeah, but if you, there's one thing that's exactly the same. No, trophies. I get that, but unfortunately we're up against one of the, the greatest teams the Premier League's ever seen. Win the FA Cup. Win the League Cup. 
Okay, we could be better in cup competitions, but there's still been progression. We've still pushed. We've still pushed. One of the, it is, of course it is. Second, 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 it second, second. It doesn't matter. Second. Progression. No. It is. You need to win a trophy. No, it's not all about just winning trophies. It's not all, it's not all just about winning a trophy. It is. It's not. It is, Benny. No, it's not. You it lot won. You lot won the League it Cup. What did that do for you? No, I'm talking about you. No, but answer that question. You won the League it, Cup last year. It, it, sorry, it no, is all no, about winning no, trophies. No, That's answer an that, unbelievable answer quote. Answer that question, right? You, you, you're, you're, no, take, but you're taking a club out of the middle of no. You're plucking no, it and saying no, this club. Your team. What yeah. you won the League Cup, which you see as success. Fair enough. What yeah. has that done for your club? You're eighth. I know, but I'm not talking about. No, me. But answer that question. But, but, answer that question. Is, I, that, is that progression? But, but we're talking no, about. No, answer the question. Do you answer the question? I'm answering. Right, answer okay. that question. You well, finished. Is you finished eighth this year. Yeah. You no. won the League Cup last year. No. So you've gone backwards. Even though you won a trophy last season. Yes. You've gone well, backwards. Well, obviously, if we won a trophy and finished third, and we have a trophy, so that's my point. We've gone backwards. That's not progression. No, I've said that. I've admitted that. It's awful. Yeah, I've admitted that. Arsenal getting closer and closer to City. But, not, you, but you said, and I'm going to quote word for word, it's not all about winning trophies. No, and it's so no, is all about no, it. No, progression is not all about winning trophies. Progression's it not. Is. It's not. How, how many years can you go without winning trophies and still no, call at it? So, no, at some point, soon. Yeah, a when? Five a, years so a, far, a, when? A trophy, next season. A trophy has to come in the door. But next Arsenal, season. But Arsenal are still progressing as a football club. Okay, to second again. Yeah, if, even if it's second. Okay. Manchester City, one of the best teams you've ever seen on the planet. Yeah. Liverpool have won it. Leicester have won it. Yeah, okay. We've why, won it. Why Man City have yeah, been dominant? It. Why Man City have been dominant? Yeah, no, we've won it. Not why Man City have hey, been dominant, you it, haven't. But my point is, there is progression. 20 years ago. There is progression. Okay. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.